guys, it's Jess and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If it's your first time here, be sure to head on down below, hit that subscribe button so you can see more of my videos every week. And if you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up, that'd be awesome. But today's video, I'm going to be taking you on a tour of my room. I'm super excited. This is my room right behind me. So I figure, hey, let's go. Let's just head on in there. Okay, so when we first come into my room, this is sort of an overview. You can see I've got a bookshelf, my bed over there, kind of a sitting area, desk and then dressers, music, table. There's a lot going on, so I will kind of go through it piece by piece through each kind of section of the room because I kind of have my room arranged into different little areas. And when you come in, what you see is this table that my dad picked up for me at the Salvation Army, so I don't know where it's from. But what I use it for a lot of times is charging my Apple Watch. I keep in those um, books, they're boxes, and so in the top one, I keep my charger for my um, wireless headphones and then in the bottom oh and my apple watch charger too and then in the bottom one i keep my remotes for my television and for my stereo i also have a little unicorn there and then what i have going on up here is i have this j it actually lights up but um i've got a j and then i have an inspirational poster and then that's kind of a bathroom area. We'll ignore that, but I do kind of just have a little decoration. Then we get to kind of the entertainment section of my room almost. I'll explain. So my dad and I are both obsessed with records. Like before it was even super hip. Um, I have a record player. Mine is a Sony. Right now I am listening to Dean Martin classic. LOL. That's so cringy sounding, but I absolutely adore Dean Martin. And so a lot of these either came from Salvation Army. Right above it, what you'll notice, I like to keep elements of my childhood, basically. This um, is a bunch of bone china animals that I used to collect these when I was like seven, and some of these were given to me, some were my parents, and it's just always there. And then if we move on further into my room, what we have is kind of my TV stereo section. So my TV is just a Samsung, it's a few years old. And so then what we have going on beneath that is, um, I have this old stereo that I've had like my whole life and what I use it for is to listen to CDs and you can see, excuse my messy CD setup, but I have my CDs on that box. I also have a portable CD player. I have all my One Direction CDs, my CD case. And I'll show you kind of this section of my room dresser desk area. What we've got going on here, this is my dresser. And so what I have, just a little rundown, I won't show you, but you know, I have pajamas, pajamas, kind of sweaters, like it's boring stuff that you don't need to see. But then in here, this is um, where I have two mice. This is my little mice house. M mice is home, mice cage, mice, I don't know what to call this. But so Skeeter and Skipper live in here and I decorate their um, little habitat for the holidays. And so Easter's coming up, so you know they're decked out and ready. And then they've got a bunch of fun tubes and oh, they're so cute. But it's the daytime so they're sleeping and then if you'll notice i have weights on it because we we could not find a lid the right size for this tank so they will crawl on the ceiling and just to make sure they don't like sneak out i have these weights hello it's me and then i've got just pictures of me when i'm tiny um oh i've got princess from when i was a homecoming princess and pictures of my parents oh i haven't explained to you what these are um here i'll start over here if you're not from the south, you're probably going to be like, what the heck are these? But what these are, they're called mums. Like, I guess, cr like chrysanthemums, because they used to be actual mums. But so, when you are a high school girl in the south, a lot of times what you'll do around homecoming is you will either make a mum or be gifted a mum. And so, I have one for each of my four years, and each year it's supposed to get a little bigger. Mine are, like, not that big. You've kind of seen this portion. Oh, I don't think I mentioned this. I used to be obsessed with New York. I still am. I would love to visit New York one day, but I thought that this picture of New York was just gorgeous. What I have here is I have my desk and my computer set up. My desk is actually from a thrift store in my town. It was literally five dollars. I kid you not. So I've got my uh, MacBook that I edited my videos on. This is actually my friend's mom's computer from when I was working for her. She let me do some design stuff on there and I'm still borrowing it. Also got a girl boss sign there to keep me inspired. Then what I have is this speaker I got at Ross and I'm pretty sure it's from the brand Polaroid. And what's really cool about it is it's also, like it's a lamp, but it's also a Bluetooth speaker and I use it so much. I will say the only downside to this desk is there's no storage. So what I have going on is just kind of a little card box where I keep some school supplies. I've got books I've been reading, an external drive. And I keep textbooks, spirals, like all my school stuff that I use on a regular basis, I just keep down there. Just wanted to show y'all, I have this art that I love to keep by my desk because I find it very inspiring. And it's a very 
verse that says, this is the day the Lord has made. So then right back here, I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. These are calendars I probably haven't, well, haven't used since 2017, but they're cute anyways. And then that's me with my grandparents a few years ago, little Florida keychain, some magnets. So honestly, it's not a bad thing. But so this is just my little desk setup. This is surprisingly clean. I'm gonna be completely honest and tell you it's not usually this clean, but cleaned up for y'all. And then since I don't have much room on my desk, what I usually do is I keep, um, I keep my pens right here and I also have this tablet that my friend got me for my birthday that I use for my to-do list every day. And then this is my window and you can see I've got my light set up and I am on the back of the house so I have this beautiful view of the backyard with all the trees and I love sitting and looking out the window. So now we're shifting to kind of where I hang out a lot and that is my couch. And so this couch I bought myself at Goodwill and I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure it was like $40. It was probably one of the best things I've ever bought. The pillow on it is from Ikea. I thought that worked really well. And then my picture is of Audrey Hepburn from Breakfast at Tiffany's and I got it at Ross a few years ago. This is my favorite part of the room. As soon as you walk in, you see Audrey. I think she is such a symbol of beating grace and I think this photo really ties together the craziness in the room. I think it kind of brings in all the black. I don't know, I like it a lot. And then I have lights that I got at Walmart I, or like I think after Christmas or maybe before, but I got them at Walmart pretty cheap during Christmas time. This is my coffee table setup. I got this coffee table at Goodwill. Can you tell that I'm obsessed with thrifting? I will say, I'm pretty sure, y'all let me know in the comments if you happen to know, I'm pretty sure it's from Ikea because it looks like a piece I've seen at Ikea. So I have one of these light boards and it was supposed to say no time like the present, but clearly there's not time or there's not room for that. So it says no time like now. Then next to that, I have this little girl boss. <laughs> I can't talk. I have a girl boss globe just so cute and then I have basically coffee table books this is the dictionary of fashion how to be adored actually really interesting and then this dog I love so much I got it as a secret Santa gift from my friend Blake one year because um, he said I was top dog which is funny if you know me I run a bunch of stuff so it's adorable and I put a little collar on it because I thought it was cute and then this is a little book from my prom last year but so I like my coffee table to be cute typically it gets covered in stuff but the basis of it is cute and then down here I have some magazines, Eiffel Tower, more decorator stuff. And I'm gonna be real with you. Oh, first, this is like my Bible, my Bible study. I wish I like had a better place to put it, but it was on my coffee table and it was kind of cluttery, so we're just leaving it there for now. This is my candle stash. <laughs> this whole thing, ooh, looks really dusty, sorry guys. This whole box is full of candles. And then here's like five or six candles right there with my lighter because what I'll typically do is just set my candle right here. If you've seen any of my other videos, you've probably seen just this part. So let me tell you about it. My bed is from Ikea. I, what I have going on is a lot. I have lights everywhere because you can probably tell I love the lights. And so I've got kind of a Parisian pillow. I think my pillows are mostly from Ross. Um, my sheets, Ross, like all of it, a lot of stuff I pick up randomly at Ross. And then I have a poster in the back of, um, is that New York? Yeah, it's New York that I got in another town. This, I think I've shown this in a video before. This is a little collage of me and one of my best friends that she made one Christmas. This is a little collage of photos of me and my friends. That picture that says, have courage and be kind. One of my friends painted for me before she graduated. Some of those postcards were um, on the right were my great aunts and I think they're super cool. So then beneath that I have like my daily devotional, a journal, some pens, my glasses. <laughs> Typically I'll charge my phone right there because usually my lights aren't plugged in all the time. But then I have kind of my vision board that I made a year or so ago. I guess y'all don't really see it up close. But so what I did was I incorporated pictures and quotes that I found both aesthetically pleasing and inspiring for one reason or another. If you're interested, I can kind of... I'd wanted to make a video walking y'all through the process of making a vision board and how it kind of helps me. So I keep that there and I think it looks great in the back of my videos. But on the real, I think it's a really cool thing to do. Then over here is my Polaroid wall. I had always wanted one of these and it goes down like it goes down to there and it goes up kind of high it has polaroids all the way from like freshman year until now senior year this is the view from my bed of my yard fake plants so i have a light here and then i have a light there so a lot of times i end up hanging out in here oh and then i also have dream catchers from different places i've traveled and so this is where i spend so much of my time i read here i sit here i edit here I... we've got the top bunk which i don't go on very often but i'll kind of give you a little preview 
my Tom sign. That poster is from when one of my friends, he promposed to me last year and it's kind of an inside joke and I love it so much that I have it hanging on my wall. So this is like where I chill. Right here is kind of, I feel like where I incorporate elements of my childhood because I have, um, like all of this is kind of memory stuff, but we'll start right here is my little Paris box. And so what you'll notice is I've got more books on it that I need to read. They're sitting there so I remember to read them and I don't. Decorator camera, I think from Ross too. My Paris box is um, full of sweaters because I don't wear them that much, but I don't want to get rid of them. So they just live tucked away in there. Some family pictures, some, this is my Disney shelf. And then this is some kind of world stuff. Right there is a picture of me and my date to prom. And I just think it's really sweet, so I keep it there because it makes me happy. And it was a great night, honestly. Prom was super fun. I have this stool here from Ikea and I have moved it around over the years. Sometimes I use it as a table, like it kind of is now. Sometimes I use it as a stool. But now what I like to do sometimes is I will sit here from time to time and put on my shoes actually, because this is my closet right here. I won't show you all my closet today because that's a whole different beast. But just, just know it's there, it's fine. And then I have a little Paris trash can that um, I emptied just for y'all. And that is my room. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was like really all over the place in Rambly, but I mean, what room tour isn't? Um, if you like this, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I'm thinking about doing a car tour. Do you like the idea? Let me know. If there's anything else you wanna see, I'd love to know in the comments any video ideas. And yeah, I hope y'all are having a really awesome week and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.